Uh, welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have this car, <coughs> 2006 Nissan Altima. Throttle body is being replaced. And you know this throttle body is controlled by the engine computer through a relay that is here. Uh, we put a used computer in the car <clears throat> and in a quick step we are trying to show you how you can program the idle. You see this car is start. There is no checking the light on. We just change computer there that the used one the new one is there on the top our step now is to change to diagnose this car and this is the rpm is 1500 and that is very high so we are trying to see if we can program the idle you see to be normal the computer need to adjust the the system and as soon as you program it the, before we do it mechanically which means that we have to take a screwdriver and adjust the air and fuel rationality how it could be but now we have a computer and the car is computerized so everything have to be through computer i'm gonna go here <coughs> through uh, the diagnostic we can read the VIN number you see we are waiting for the the scanner to communicate with the car is not yet I already plug it in we have to be patient a little bit if it doesn't work it's okay we can use normal way or regular way this is wireless I will go to cancel yeah it look like it's accepting it you see I already have the information I will say okay Ultima 2006, I will say yes. Actually, this is not the right VIN number. You can go and do hard function, change the VIN number. But I want to do the control unit. I want to do the idle first engine. This RPM is very high. Sometimes, if it is more than 1000, it will not. You cannot pull it down but I will try now establish communication we're gonna wait three out of three There is a little bit of misfire also. We're gonna look at that soon. I, the car like start getting misfire after 10 minutes. We, were, we, we are going to look for that. Okay, let me see what code I have. Maybe there is a one cylinder misfire. Crankshaft position sensor circuit. Okay, that's why. When the car get hot, the crankshaft sensor acting up. That's why, but let me try to read all the quote so we know that this is the problem in this car read quote I don't see no quotes so now I'm gonna start the car and it's not easy to start you see why because the crankshaft sensor see what code I have again no codes so let me see data ECM input 
All signal. When the car gets hot a little bit, it's hard to start, and we have crankshaft sensor coat. Hmm. Okay. Let me see where is the vehicle speed. Vehicle speed, no. We need engine speed. Engine speed by RPM here. Okay, let me see now. You see, I don't have no crank signal. Car is cranking. I have no crank signal. Wow. Select show. This is engine speed. Yes, now the car start, and I see the engine speed come. So let me adjust the idle air control, and then we're gonna come back to the engine speed. The idle is coming down, but that's not enough. We have 1,000, I'm gonna go back. We already know that we have a problem here. Let me show you the codes. It's supposed to bring the code for P0335 crankshaft position sensor circuit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back now to relearn my special function idle volume relearn. Say okay, continue. Okay, start. Yes, pull it, pull it, you see? Yes. Pull it down so good. From one thousand and a half revolution per minute, it pull it down, and we're gonna wait. We get cut off a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It's already read it. You see? He says there's an error. But I already read it. I was able to read this. Start. We're gonna wait till it says complete here. It's supposed to change to complete is everything is okay. Sometimes it will not change, but you already visually you notice that it's okay. If you say complete here, it's okay. If it's not, it's already, we have it here. So this one here, I believe we are okay with it. The only thing we need to do is that this car have, also we, re we realize that changing that computer, it, the reason why they change it because of the car is misfire, hard to start, but we have a code of crankshaft sensor circuit. So this car need uh, to check the wiring and get a new plug if you need it and put a brand new sensor and you're good to go 2006 Nissan Altima it take more than accepted is okay but we already know that it's been, okay. you know, like I did this one before. Also, it will not, you know, it, you see that it's already read it. But it will not say complete there. And we notice also hard to start when we're missing crankshaft sensor signal. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.